Hello boys and girls, I'm Olli Huttunen and welcome to this video where I try to explain how I have finally managed to enter the Matrix. Ever since the Epic Games released this amazing Unreal 5 technology demo together with the creators of the Matrix movies, I have wanted to go fly around and explore this generated city and see how realistic those streets actually are and how the artificial intelligence is controlling the traffics and pedestrians. But the road to this point is quite complicated and can be reached in at least three different ways. The first way is to get the PS5 or the latest Xbox game console and download these demos on those devices since it was originally released only for the game consoles. But this plan won't go very far right now because I noticed in the internet article that the demo is no longer distributed for the consoles on their digital storefronts. That's a bummer. If you have these devices and you have managed to download the demo earlier this year, good for you. But since I don't have these modern consoles anyway, but I do have a decent PC with a proper graphics card, I decided to check out if there is another way. Because Epic Games has released part of this tech demo on their marketplace where they are available for free, the second way is to try to install them on your computer and make them work in the Unreal 5 game engine. But I have to say, this method is very heavy and time-consuming work, especially if you have no experience using the Unreal game engine before. The city sample package alone takes up more than 100 gigabytes of space and downloading it can be quite tedious. Don't get me wrong, this is the only way if you want to implement something of your own within this framework. But if the goal is just to get around the city and exploring it, this road is definitely the heaviest and it requires lots of memory and power from your computer. Fortunately, there is a third way to solve this puzzle. There happens to be some great individuals and developers who have already done all the hard work for you and compiled a working demo that you can run on your PC. And it is only around 17 gigabytes. You can Google it. There are also several channels on the YouTube which handles this topic and where such a demo can be downloaded. This is normally distributed through various Google Drive directories as it is not an official publication. I'll put the link in the description. When you manage to download some version, you will find that it is a basic EXE file that can be launched like any other game. And of course, when you're playing on the PC, you always move with the WASD keys and with the mouse. You will find the instructions for all other keys on the left side of the user interface. The only small thing I noticed for me was that since I'm from Finland and I use the Scandinavian keyboard, I had difficulties to navigate in the menu because I don't have the bracket keys in the correct place. So I needed to first change the keyboard language to English so that I could use the buttons to move in the menu. But if you are playing with the newest 5.1 version, you'll have opportunity to open the advanced menu and you can handle it more easily with the mouse. You have much more options to change graphics parameters and for example the camera settings. All right, now that we have found ourselves inside the Matrix City, it is time to start to explore it. 
This is an amazing place. You can walk around with this game character and you can drive cars and crash them. And you can switch to the fly mode, which is my favorite. Of course, this isn't nothing new if you are a gamer and played, for example, the Grand Theft Auto or the latest Spider-Man games. We have seen these huge living city models before, but this one is definitely the most realistic looking which I have seen so far. And I mean the level of realism which can be achieved when you turn the demo on the photo mode. In the menu you can find the photo mode settings where you can choose different focal lengths and start to play with the depth of field of the virtual camera. The depth of field is the key to cinematic look and this is very inspiring when you can adjust the city lighting from daytime to evening. In the evening lighting you especially get to play with the blurred backgrounds and see all those beautiful lens pokers. And these out of focus headlights of a moving cars are in my opinion the most important thing which makes these shots look so realistic and cinematic. It is something very familiar and essential thing which we have seen so many times in the movies and pictures. So after a while wandering around with this photo mode I realized that this is actually a real simulator of the real-life camera work. Once I can play with the focus of the cameras this nicely, I started to wonder if I could somehow take a time-lapse sequences in here. So then I remembered recording. We can screen record here as in any other game. So I decided to record several about two minutes long clips all around the city from the places which looked interesting to me. The trick for this time-lapse film was made it in the post. In editing software, which in my case is the Final Cut Pro, I like to edit my videos on the Mac. In most of the cases I just simply made the clips 20 times faster, so that they started to look like a regular time-lapse sequences. I also added a motion blur effect to some of the pictures so that the shots look as if they were taken with the longer exposure time. For the night traffic clips I used a trails effect so that the long light strokes from the car's headlight would appear just like in the real time-lapse photos. So, this was my revelation of the Matrix City. It is so much fun to fly through this simulation. I really want to thank all the amazing engineers and developers of Epic Games. This is a truly historic achievement in technology field. And of course, big shout out for those individuals who have compiled these PC demo versions. I hope that you liked this video and perhaps this was inspirational for you. As they say in the original Matrix movie, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. I think that it is the time when we take the red bell. See you 